SGC here, and we are back for a final impression. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, season one. I can pronounce it now, Maisel, because I heard it enough through the eight episodes, and I'm really bummed that it's only eight episodes, but granted, it worked well. So, as a first season, interesting, lots of things to go through. We have the marriage, and then the breakup, and then the whole let's get back together thing, and then figuring out yourself, and then failure, and then figuring it out, and then getting back together, and then not, and then finding yourself. So that's a lot of things to talk about. And I enjoyed the whole aesthetic. I love the aesthetic. Loved just how everyone carries themselves, the jokes, and just the world. Really love the surroundings and the atmosphere. What is surroundings? I don't know. But the sets, the sets were nice. And I dug everyone's performance. I love the chemistry. They worked really well together. Midge is just a great character and props for for finding someone to play it so well and then I also really enjoy the parents just the Jewishness of it like it's not like super Jewish exclusive but you, you get a sense of like how these type of families operate and that goes beyond cultural boundaries you got your protective mother in a sense was she protective I guess she had like really high hopes but didn't say much and then your dad who's sort of like really technical and logic but he is a mathematician so i really enjoyed the parents performance i loved what they brought to the table and as you learn more about them throughout the eight episodes it's like wow this is a real family and zelda is hilarious because she's just zelda and just to see midge going through sort of what she went through was also interesting from a housewife to a comic to a cosmetic counter girl to a figuring herself comic and yeah and then we also see Joel's sort of transformation I'm actually surprised from the first episode that they kept him around I really enjoyed that granted I sort of wish there was more flashbacks in a sense because I feel like now that I'm done the first season you there could have been more I feel like to build up his case more I mean granted when he finally like leaves Gaslight at the end I feel like it was a accumulation of everything they were building and you're supposed to feel sympathetic empathetic and it's just like this thing but granted it was very stereotypical and that's what I sort of didn't like in the sense where he got all riled up about finding out his wife was talking smack about him and then him bombing that interview because I so hate the trope the shy did it I know how to pronounce it sorry it's a different review and you'll never find out but shy the shy did it well where it's like you get riled up in life but when you go to work you just do your work you don't just have life go like smack you in the face and go like, I quit because you can't quit because that's your livelihood and you got to stick around with it and finish your job. So that was one thing that really bothered me. I really did enjoy the comic, the stand up and just the world because I said it already. And then we have Susie Meyerson as the manager. She's just great fun. And just to see her unfold and open herself up to Midge was was just great just to see them like chilling and her talking smack and uh, also uh, Lenny Bruce was fun it's just like this giving a chance out to the noobs and um, yeah it, it was a good chemistry of the back and forth and yeah so all in all I enjoyed the season and it was cringe when things bombed but I think that was just too much of goody goody of everything's going well and then bombing is just whoa that's too much but anyways I enjoyed it cannot wait for the next season really wonder where they're gonna go I loved how they sort of build up the world, the comic world, where she's like different sort of... She has to recover from this, first of all, in the next season. But at the same time, like how big is she going to grow? Because Lenny Bruce sort of helped her. People saw her act. They're going to blow up. We'll, we'll, what's his face? Sort of back down be like, fine, you can go to these crap clubs for now. And then she gets better and better. And then she climbs to the, to the top and beats Sophie Lennon. Or what's going to happen? I don't know. I look forward to it. Cannot wait for it. And yeah, it was pretty enjoyable, and I loved the musicals. I forgot about that. The musicals in the beginning of each episode was also great fun. Because it just builds the vibe and the atmosphere and the setting. Love the songs and how they narrate and how they sort of just build that episode. I love the scene where they go move in and move out, and it just cuts back and forth. Really enjoy that. And yeah, that, that's really basically it. I enjoyed The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. 
And this is the final impression of that for season one.